<clears throat> Welcome back. Happy Monday to you all. Good to see ya. <laughs> Just kidding. I can't see ya. Here are the answers, everybody. Here are the answers for 12.3 uh, surface area of, gosh, what do we do? Cones and pyramids? Yeah, that sounds about right. Here are all the answers. Check them. And before we start 12.4, I wanna I wanna break down what these last two weeks are really gonna look like for for this class really. Uh, let's go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. All right, here, here's today, folks. This is uh, May 18th. This is Monday. We got a lesson on Wednesday. We got the very last I'm gonna do a double circle very last lesson that I'm teaching you on this Friday because Memorial Day is this upcoming Monday we do not have e-learning we do not have canvas I'm not gonna have a video uploaded Tuesday's off as we're all aware and Wednesday oh my gosh have you guys been counting this have you guys been ready for this Wednesday is the very last day so my plan is to teach 12.4 today, 12.5 on Wednesday, and 12.6, possibly 12.7. I gotta look. I gotta look, everybody. Nope, 12.6. I'm teaching 12.6 on Friday. No school next Monday. This is going to be the quiz. This is the quiz. It's the last thing I throw at you. Uh, you're gonna turn in your binders. You're gonna turn in your review guides. I'm gonna give you the review guide this Friday And honestly, you're gonna have the whole weekend Saturday Sunday even this Monday and Tuesday to get it done and and turn it in by by Wednesday So that's what the last uh, you know week week and a half really looks like in this class uh, Make sure you're checking your answers go back and redo some problems. It's it's only gonna help you for this quiz remember quizzes are 65% of your grade Regular homework, it's, you know, these lessons right here, it's 35% of your grade. It's nothing to sneeze at, but it's certainly going to help you. Also, some of you have been asking, this Wednesday, the very last day, I guess you could say the last day of school, is the very last day that you can turn in any late work, any assignments, because once Wednesday is done, this class is over. On Thursday... I'm finalizing grades. Uh, I'm going to make sure I assign every single one of you exactly what you earned for this class, and uh, it'll be uploaded to uh, Harmony, and you know it'll be good to go. And then you can enjoy your summers, folks. So that's what the last week and a half is going to look like. Okay, on to on to bigger and better things. Let's get started. What do you say, folks? Twelve point four today. We move away from surface area, and we move towards volumes of prisms cylinders we start talking about volumes and if you remember way back in 12.2 I started teaching about surface areas of prisms and cylinders now we move into volumes of prisms and cylinders alright get ready let's, let's draw ourselves a prism let's do a prism over here and we'll draw a cylinder over here. Get ready to draw, everybody. Has your drawing improved after being in this class? I, I sure hope it has. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's gotten worse. <laughs> uh, prism. Let's draw ourselves. What kind of a prism do we want to draw? How about a rectangular prism, also known as a cereal box? Draw yourself a cereal box. There, there's your rectangular base, and I'm gonna I'm gonna color in my base. I'm, I'm I strongly encourage you guys and gals to color in the base as well. All right, so that's a rectangle. Doesn't look like a rectangle. It's a parallelogram, but we gotta remember that we're looking at this prism from a three-dimensional perspective. Cool. Now let's give it some height. We're going to say that we can't see that edge. Okay. Let's see. This is a tricky one. This is tricky now. Okay, so i got to go over here. 
And I gotta go up and kind of connect them together. Cool. And then, cool. We got ourselves a rectangular prism. Now, this base down here can be anything. For this example, it's a it's a rectangle. It could be a triangular prism where the base is a triangle and it goes up to another triangle. It could be a pentagonal prism where the bottom is a pentagon. We're just going with a nice easy rectangle. Uh, we need to talk about the height right here. That will be the height of the prism. And the height is just the distance from base to base. Remember, a prism has two bases. You got the base on top and then you got the base on the bottom. I really hope you guys like this lesson. Uh, in my experience teaching this, I, I have kids tell me every single year, when we get to volume, it is just, it's 10 times easier than surface area. Here's why. The volume of every prism, go ahead and write this equation down, is going to be the area of the base and I think you could tell me how to find the area of a rectangle, you know, it's going to be the length times the width, you know, multiply length times width, and you get the area of the base. Area of the base times the height. And that is how you find the area. <laughs> That's how you find the volume of every prism. Find the area of the base. So in this example, the yellow base and then you multiply it by the height of the prism. We'll do an example, you'll see how easy this is. I hope, I hope. Jump over to a cylinder, please. Let's make yourself a cylinder. Boom, boom, boom. Oops, come on, pen, don't die on me. All right, there's your cylinder. There's your uh, can of corn. There's your can of pop. What's your favorite can of pop? Hey, by the way, oh my gosh, I had so many students email me what their favorite ice cream was from last lesson. Baskin Robbins, Cold Stone, uh, uh, oh my gosh, uh, Ben and Jerry's, uh, Dairy Queen. Me personally, I am 100% I am a cookie dough kind of guy. Oh my gosh. You take a bite of ice cream and then you gotta gnaw through some cookie dough. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's just, oh, I wish I had some cookie dough right now. But our freezer is empty. That's the that's the problem with having ice cream in the house. If you have ice cream in the house, then uh, it's in the house and you just gotta eat it. But if it's not in the house, you get to save yourself some calories. This is the base of the cylinder. It's a circle. We've already talked about this. And once again, this is the height of the cylinder, going from the bottom base to the top base. You know, you can kind of see why we're teaching these two solids together, they, they practically are the same. They both have bases, they both have heights, they have an identical base on top. They're practically the same. It's just, you know, for this base right here, you can have a, a triangle, a pentagon, an octagon, a hexagon, a dodecagon. But this base, 100% of the time, must be a circle. Every cylinder has a base that's a circle. All right, volume. I told you just a few seconds ago that you are going to like this lesson. And one of the reasons why is because these formulas are exactly the same. To find the volume of a cylinder, we find the area of the base. We find the area of that triangle. Oh, wow. Hi, everybody. I'm Mr. Coso. I'm your geometry teacher. I, I am supposed to know the difference between a circle and a triangle. You find the area of a circle and you multiply it by the height. It's the exact same thing. Exact same thing. Everybody, we, we should know the area of a circle. So I'm going to come down here. I'm not going to box this. Please don't box this. I'd like you to box this one down here. The volume of a cylinder is going to be the area of a circle, which is the base. And what's the area of a circle? It's pi r squared times the height. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the volume equation. Are these two the same? Yes, they are. Because 
multiply the area times the height. But for this one, I know the area of a circle. It's pi r squared multiplied by h. These are the two formulas that you're going to need for this lesson and this lesson alone. Once again, let's, let's go back. This quiz, the chapter 12 quiz that you're going to take next Wednesday, you, it's, it's open notes. I, I think I talked about that a couple days ago, but if not, if you didn't hear that, hear me again. I want everybody to be using your notes on this quiz. So you're going to have all the formulas, you're going to have all the surface area formulas, and you're going to have all the volume formulas. So use them. This quiz hopefully should be a very, very good grade for everybody. All right.